Deputy Chief Matt Homacy, can you tell me uh, about this fire? Well, we got a call from uh, OPP about a structure fire at uh, uh, 11 Toronto Street in Colburn uh, with possible people trapped inside. Uh, the crews responded to that. Uh, mostly everybody was out of the house by the time the crews had arrived and uh, they were able to make a quick knockdown. Uh, we had to uh, call in Brighton and Trent Hills from Mutual Aid, uh, use their aerial and uh, air supply from uh, Brighton to assist with the, uh, with the uh, fire. This could have been, uh, this had the potential of being a major fire, not that it was a minor fire, but it could have had the potential of being a very serious fire with the age of the building and things like that, if you can touch on. Yeah, we're, it's very challenging. A lot of the buildings downtown are older buildings. They've been remodeled multiple times. So we have all these voids with inside the building. It makes it extremely difficult to fight the fire. Uh, but the guys, uh, through quick response, through the firefighters and the mutual aid partners, were able to make a quick knockdown and uh, extinguish the fire without a, a huge loss. At this point, it's uh, nobody can... Uh living at the powers off things like that for so it'll be they'll be displaced for a while yeah all the all the people that had uh, uh were inside the building they're going to be displaced i believe there's uh four units inside so uh the homeowners there will be uh looking for somewhere else i don't think that this building will be able to be occupied anytime in the near future no cause as of yet under investigation yeah opp are going to hold the scene ofm is on scene right now to do an investigation what are your thoughts? Is there a concern in the community? I think there's always a concern in the community. It doesn't matter where the fire is. We're concerned, first of all, for the people. Are, is anyone hurt? There were tenants in this building. Of course, we're all concerned. What's going to happen? Where are they going to be put up? Then there is the actual downtown that we have historically. Historically, I mean, that's two major buildings that have some historic import for the, t for the town of... Crammy, or the village of Crammy. It was an old opera house uh, that had been turned into apartment buildings, uh, an apartment building. So there's a history there and a heritage, and, and people are re recalling and remembering the past. So, yes, but no one was injured, and this is, I think, a, a great, a great kudo to our, our volunteer fire fighters and also to the OPP who are right there, to our neighboring fire departments who come through mutual aid, which I can't say enough about. They're just wonderful. And then of course, I was very, very impressed by the paramedics on site. They were there in a shot and were very attentive and looking after people. It, it's a real plus, I think, in a small rural community to know that we all come together and that these people support one another. It's, it's wonderful.